we're walking. So I'm gonna completely wing this. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna start shooting and uh, maybe tell a little bit of a story today. So five years ago, I was hating life as a bill collector. Show me the money! Making decent money, but completely hating my life. So uh, Sue and I, who's my wife, decided uh, that I would enroll in college and get my bachelor's degree in public communications. Two years later, graduated with a degree in public communications. I knew that I wasn't done with school yet, so I decided that I would uh, enroll in the higher education program at Buffalo State and get my master's degree and hopefully work around the college campus. Compared to most 47 year olds, my days are completely abnormal. Three days a week I work as a graduate assistant uh, and often feel like I stole the job from a millennial or 20 something. Up until a couple of months ago, I worked as uh, an intern. I actually played music uh, three, four, five days a week for a number of years to support myself through school. That's a different story. In my spare time, I've also managed to uh, coach youth hockey three or four days a week. All famously supported by a loving wife who I've been with for 20 years. But I often see cool things throughout the day. Scholar. Basketball game. The struggle that I always had when I thought about creating a video blog I was wondering what I was going to say and why would anybody want to listen. And I still struggle with that. But I've been surrounded by good for so many years. I want to give back. Well, what I've come to realize is that it's about your network. The more people we know, the better chance we have at getting things that we want done accomplished. And I think that that's what's going to be a big part of my blog. The other part's going to be answering viewer mail. So prior to each episode, I'll invite my social media friends to send me a message or I'll start a post and invite people to engage in conversation with me. And this week I'll answer a couple of questions from some great friends of mine. So let's take some viewer mail. Uh, this one is from my friend Trevor Clapsaddle. And Trevor basically wants to know why do we drive on a parkway and park on a driveway. Funny you should ask. Not only do I have an answer, but I believe I can tie Buffalo into it as well. The first parkways in America were developed in the 19th century by Frederick Law Olmsted as segregated roads for pedestrians, bicyclists, equestrians, and carriages. Olmsted was an American landscape architect, journalist, social critic, and public administrator. He's considered by many to be the father of American landscape architecture. And Olmsted is famous for co-designing many well-known urban parks throughout the country, including Buffalo, New York's Delaware Park. And what is a driveway? So a driveway is a private road giving access from a public way to a building on abutting grounds. It can also be known as a private carriageway for a motor vehicle alongside, in front of, or leading to a house, garage, or other building. So now that we know that a parkway is basically a street, and we know that a driveway is basically a street leading up to a house, we can infer the reason why we drive on a parkway and park in a driveway is simply because of the evolution of the words. That is the best that I can do. Back to the mailbag. All right, our next question comes from Bessie. Uh, and Bessie wants to know if I miss her. Of course I miss you. Uh, how could I not? Bessie, keep kicking cancer's ass. Do your thing and we wish you nothing but the best for the new year. So Nick wants to know why it takes so long to get anything accomplished to the VA. Let's talk about Nick's story for a minute before we get into the details of the issues associated with the VA. So I first met Nick uh, a number of years ago, and I think uh, we were drawn to each other basically because we were veterans of the armed forces. Unlike Nick, uh, I did not serve in a combat role. Uh, however, we did have common ground, and that was the basis of our friendship. Nick wouldn't let you know, but he's had quite a few struggles. He suffers from PTSD from his time in Iraq. Less than a couple of years ago, he was diagnosed with cancer, beat it, turned around, had a stroke, and was recovering and got cancer again. He hasn't had time for recovery simply because he's been sick for so long. With the help of some of our friends, we're going to find some relief for Nick and get him the help that he needs. So getting back to your question, why does everything take so long at the VA? 
Well, here's the answer. There are just entirely too many veterans. There are still currently 1.7 million World War II veterans. There's nearly a million Vietnam veterans uh, about to turn 65 this year. There's 1.5 million veterans that are at least 85 years or older. And now we're starting to see issues associated with the Iraq War and the veteran population. So where do we start? I don't know. I don't know how we fix it. I don't have the answer to this one. It's something we're going to have to continually work on as a country, and hopefully we have the right people in place to do so. I think the first thing that we need to do is get you some therapy. I called in a favor to my friend Mark Zarbo of Mark Zarbo Hockey. Mark called Julie, his boss and owner of Advanced Care Physical Therapy, and Julie uh, eagerly decided that she would like to take you on as a patient uh, and get you moving again and get you the exercises that you need until you can get back into the VA. So my friend Tina called her friend Larry, and Larry called in some favors with a chiropractor and uh, some massage therapist, and we're gonna hook you up that way too, Nick. So that's it. My first video blog or vlog is done. Uh, it took a little longer than expected, but I enjoyed making it, and I'll have a new one right around the corner. I've got a lot of cool things coming up. When you get an opportunity, send me an email at darylporterlive.com. And a big shout out to everybody that uh, participated in this blog. See you next time. Peace and love.